Hello students and welcome in Strategic Cost and Management, Unit 11, Profitability Analysis. So today we must understand the concept of profitability analysis. Basically, every organization, companies are setting up to earn a profit. Primary goal of any organization is to make a money. As a result, a business must attract and maintain a profitable client. So this is referred to as a profitability or customer profitability analysis. Here, we are focusing on the customer's profitability analysis. A simple term, profitability analysis, is an examination of a company's cost and revenues to determine whether or not company is profitable. So we must understand the concept of cost and revenue to the organizations. So the income minus expenses, ultimately we are going to get the amount of profit. So profitability analysis. Here, in this unit, we will be able to understand that how customer profitability analysis helps business to assess their consumers and determine how beneficial it is to maintain them. In this unit, we are going to cover meaning and concept of profitability analysis. Next will be profitability analysis with products. Then profitability analysis segment wise as per the segment. Thereafter, profitability analysis as per customer wise. These are various aspects of profitability analysis with product, with segment, with customer. So meaning and concept of profitability analysis. The main focus of profitability study is on three factors. One is customer profitability, CPA, is a method of calculating revenue from customers after subtracting all expenditure. So this is all about customer profitability analysis. Customer product profitability analysis in this equation adds the calculation of product and customer profitability. So that profitability is dependent on the sales cost and the difference between of them. So profitability analysis is an examination of a company's cost and revenue to determine whether or not the company is profitable. So we must understand the concept increasing a company's profitability, which improves its competitive age. Profitability, increasing profitability helps in competitive age. TQM, total quality management, is a strategy for improving overall quality. So, in case of profitability, we must secure our quality. Product profitability analysis is this way. We must understand what is a product profitability analysis. Product profitability analysis is a tool for calculating the profit of a product for offer on the market. At what price it should be offered in the market. The price the practice of relating a company's overall profit to the profit of a specific product is known as a product profitability analysis. The money left over at the conclusion of an accounting period after the subtracting total cost from total revenue is referred to as a company's overall profit. Cost and revenue. That comparison and the difference between that should be if that difference is positive, it is a profit, otherwise it's a loss. Why do we need to do a product profitability analysis? When a company manufactures or sales or distribute a product, it's crucial to understand the profitability of each unique product because it is assist with revenue and business operations decision. With the information provided by product profitability analysis, a company can targeted marketing methods increase clients' exposure to the most profitable product. Adjust how they allow and add money to increase visibility of the most profitable product. Increase the price of high demand product and phase out low profit one to improve product pricing. To make pla place for additional things, bundle a more profitable item with a less profitable item to reduce storage. We must focus on most profitable item. Our inventory should be filled up with the most profitable item rather than the less profitable item. So to enhance revenue, decide whether to cross sale or 
upsell other product with profitable intelligence. So first we need to understand about profitability analysis is to increase client exposure to the most profitable product. We should focus on our client exposure for the most profitable product. Next, to increase visibility of the most profitable product. Visibility, make it for, uh, visible to the most profitable product. To increase the price of high demand product and phase out low profit one, you should increase the price of high demand. This is the formula of demand and supply. Whenever the demand is high, we are uh, sell, uh, selling at a higher price as for their demand. So product demand, whenever it is going to high, we should raise the price and we should phase out the uh, loss making or the low profit making one. Then the bundle a more profitable item with a less profitable item to reduce storage. So we should uh, maintain a store capacity management. Next is to enhance revenue, we should enhance or make a profitable uh, part by revenue. Segment profitability analysis. There are two approaches about the segment profitability analysis. Unless it is a not for profit organization, all business have profit as their primary purpose. Other than not for profit organizations, every organization is looking for the maximization of profit. In the long run, profitable operations necessitate sound decision making and performance review. While the income statement serves a variety of functions, it is largely used by management to evaluate performance. The use of income statement for evaluation purpose can be particularly beneficial when prepared on segmental basis, when it is available in segmental basis. Segment means different different parts so business are typically complicated and diverse in nature business are complicated and diverse in nature so it is extremely improbable that a company will only have one product single product enterprise are only found in the textbook to demonstrate certain business fundamentals Many American businesses have hundreds of items and operate in multiple areas or regions. So in today's business world, the vast majority of businesses are likely to be a global in a scope. So given the large number of products and varied areas of operation, it is doubtful that all of them will be successful over a time. It is not necessary that every product will be successful in it. But since the early 1990s, the requirement to review profit performance on the segment basis consistently and regularly has been recognized and practiced. Therefore, we need to understand which area is more profitable to our organization because we are dealing in multiple products. So which product is higher profitable and which product is lower profitable or even a loss making? We should think about it and that gives a knowledge about a segment profitability. So segmentation helps us to understand the most profitable and the least profitable. Over a long period of time, two basic approaches to segment analysis have emerged. One, the first one is full cost approach. It's called a full cost method. And the second is contribution approach. The complete cost approach aims to measure each segment net income, whereas the contribution uh, tends to access each segment, segmental contribution. This is how we need to understand. Now, we'll move ahead for understanding the full cost 